Hey guys, welcome to Body Bags. It's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and it's Friday. And I am reviewing a 2015, it's a brand new film, uh, <clears throat> direct to video. I don't think I don't think there's ever gonna be uh, an official release. I found this at Best Buy, just going through looking for cooties actually, and I found this, <clears throat> and the cover caught my eye, and I kind of read it, and I'm like, huh, okay. You know, a lot of us like our bad shark films. Well, oops, I got a bad one for you. <clears throat> it actually stars Dolph Lundgren, which I was kind of shocked because he's <laughs> he's your action star. He's your uh, He-Man from Master of the Universe, Rocky IV. Did a lot of a lot of uh, uh, actions like he was in the Expendables. Uh, excuse me, many. Uh, Action films. He's a big action film star. We stars in this film called Shark Lake. <laughs> yeah, Shark Lake. Where <coughs> he plays Clint, who is an exotic uh, black market pet dealer. And the police were on his trail, and they catch him in his uh, facility, in his home. His little daughter's there, and he's <clears throat> driving away in his van. The police chase after him, and of course he gets into a car accident where it sends him and his van into the lake. Well, he was also hauling some other animals in the, the van, and one was happened to be an exotic a bull shark. Well, <clears throat> he gets out of the water, and a bull shark swims away, as you can tell. He gets busted, and he is sent to jail for... And he gets on a parole within five years. So this bull shark's been living in the lake for five years and not bothering anybody. <coughs> well, his little girl is now, <coughs> there was nobody to take care of her. So the main police woman, who is played by Sarah uh, Lane, she was in a bunch of films. She's this very overprotective woman. She's kind of get, she's the <coughs> down hard knocks type cop chick where she, everything's by her rules, but the captain doesn't believe her in some things. So she takes care of her of his daughter within the five years. So he gets out, and he wants to see her. And she's like, no, I'm going to get a restraining order, and this and that, blah, 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 blah. Well, then down the road, <clears throat> some people are starting to get murdered near the lake. They first think it's a bear because it was near the, the shore, uh, an older gentleman who was your first victim was torn apart. And, of course, that doesn't seem right. A bear near water. Well, they also have a gentleman <clears throat> who was played by Michael Aaron Milligan. His name is Pete. He was in VHS Viral. He plays a marine biologist slash a marine scientist <clears throat> who comes to find out that it's a shark. And when they find out that it's a bull shark. He says that bull sharks can live in different forms of water. That's why it's surviving in the lake. Because it can change its pH and its kidney balance to where the water around it can live. And since there's no predators in the lake and there's an abundant food supply, the bull shark can survive. <clears throat> well now, Dolph Lundgren's, uh, well Clint there, his... Uh, I want to try to say his <clears throat> buyer for the shark shows up and says, "Hey, you have 24 hours to get your shark. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna kill your daughter." Uh, he's got a bunch of gun uh, henchmen there, so <clears throat> London's all getting his boat ready. So pretty much, <clears throat> it's pretty much a weird story where London has to kill the sh get the shark, but he wants to save his daughter and see his daughter, where the cops are trying to get. Clint, and I don't know. <clears throat> so this is the that's the story. I don't want to get too much into it. All right, my my thoughts on the film. Well, wow. all right, this has got some bad CGI, very bad CGI. Uh, <clears throat> the shark looks very the shark looks very fake with the teeth and everything. Uh, some bad CGI attacks. Uh, some bad CGI gore. Uh, <clears throat> I think most of it was all CGI'd. Uh, Dolph's acting wasn't bad. He's just your run-of-the-mill, big, tough guy. You know, I'm going to do it. 
kind of deal. But that's it. There's no real heart with him. He, I guess he just wanted to do this film. I don't know. Uh, the Female Cop by Sarah laying there. She does great. Very uh, very uh, protective of the girl. The little girl's okay. But the rest of the acting wasn't that great. Uh, there were some goofs you could see in the film. Like where the co <clears throat> where she was at his house, the girl's bike was there. And all of a sudden, it's back at her place where the little girl's driving, riding the bike. Didn't make sense. Uh, let's see, like I said, the CGI sharks looked awful. Uh, they don't look like bull sharks. They just look like weird CGI drawn sharks. Uh, some of the kills were kind of, eh, lame. Uh, <clears throat> there's a boating accident on a jet ski, and that makes no sense. And also, there's another guy just magically appears and gets munched. I don't know. <clears throat> for me, I, I paid $10 for this. If you're into shark films, you love shark films, you just want to get a ton of shark films, you can put it in your collection. But others, I would say, you know, maybe pass on this one. Uh, if you're a big Dolph Lundgren fan, you collect a lot of Dolph Lundgren films, if you just want to grab it, put it in your, on your shelf, go ahead. Uh, I don't see a lot of replay value in this movie. I think it might be just a, a once uh, play around, and that was it. Maybe down the road I'll watch it again, but that's way, way down the road. So out of a possible 10, I would probably give this a 4 out of 10. Maybe 4 is a little stretching, but that's what I would give it. All right, guys. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think down below. And you have yourself a good Friday. Later, guys. Peace.